everybody, I'm KD, and today we are going to go over my rooftop tent. something I've been wanting to show you for a really long time. This is my Treeline Outdoors Tamarack Constellation Tent. I got this in August of 2017 from Peden Four Wheel Drive and I made a video in September of 2017 only to get home and find out that my microphone wasn't turned on. So I will not be making that mistake again. But anyways, so I currently have it just set up. Uh, tent only because I know some of you might buy it like that but I do have the annex that goes down below so we'll show that off in a second I just thought I'd set it up as is and we can kind of go over the tent itself and then the annex separately so yeah the fabric super durable really nice all the windows are really really big and they all have an awning that goes on over top right now they're rolled up for the maximum visibility and uh, I will pop them out with the poles uh, once I set up the annex. They all have mesh and then a waterproof outer that can be uh, deployed as needed. Coming around to the back, it has the same size entrance as the front. Super, super big. Also has the mesh and then the waterproof outer which rolls up top. Um, both the mesh and the waterproof outer have their own uh, clasps so you can deploy them separately just like the front. The rain fly clips in with buckles on the side. Super easy to take on and off. You just undo those three buckles on each side and then the poles slide right out. So I might even show that here in a bit, but I usually leave it on because where I live it rains a lot and it's just nice to have on there. You still have the skylight. The tent comes with these shoe holders or whatever else holders you want to keep off the ground. Uh, they velcro shut. There's also velcro on the back so you can flip it over. I can't do that one handed but you get the gist. It does that. The ladder's nice aluminum. Super sturdy. It only comes with one position which every time I come out here I want to bring my own drill because I'd like to have it more upright. Oh, there goes my balanced camera. One second. Thanks. Anyways, now we're back. If you want this to be at a specific height for your vehicle, bring a small drill. You can drill your own holes and make it as you wish. There's also one other cargo net. It goes up here, you can dry some stuff off. Anyways, you don't really buy one of these tents to look on the outside, so let's uh, set up my camera on the inside and I'll show you what it's like in there. Alright, so it's probably pretty hard to tell, but it's uh, very spacious in here. This is a two to three person tent. It does easily fit two people up here, but uh, a third adult, definitely not. A third child, yeah, for sure. Or maybe a fur baby of some sort. My dogs sleep downstairs on the canopy, but uh, yeah, definitely lots of room. Like I said, I'm, uh, I'm six foot two, and I can lay down with extra foot room. I don't even have to sleep on an angle. I can stretch right out, which is really good. Uh, this mattress, I don't know if you can see that from that at camera angle, this mattress is uh, its the right balance of firm and soft. Um, I like this better than my own mattress at home. The cover on it is very waterproof. I've spilt a shit ton of coffee up here and you can run out, grab your towels, 
soak it all up and uh, go right back to bed. Nothing soaks through. It's very nice. The skylights. Just like the win other windows, they have their own clasps for the uh, waterproof outer. And then there's the clasp for the uh, no see -em mesh as well. Doing a horribly quick job here, but hey, yeah. So, yeah. You probably can't see that, but it's all covered in ash, so you're not going to get a super nice starry view. But you have your your no -CM mesh and your waterproof canvas outer. And then when you want to stop all the bugs from coming in, just like the rest of the windows, undo the clasps. Easy to do one-handed. Loop. And... <laughs> Super nice. But I usually keep these open. I'll open up this second one here real quick. Kind of. Ooh, there's a mosquito there. Um, yeah, it's nice to stargaze, kind of see what's going on up in the sky. And it's really cool when it's raining and you can just watch the water beat off right in front of your eyes while you lay in bed and decide to never leave. There's two vents on either side. So in the colder months you can completely shut all windows um, and skylights so there's no wind coming in but you still have some breathability. One of my last trips was up to Silver Star in Vernon BC and it was negative 16 degrees Celsius and the wind was blowing really hard. It was really nice to come up here and retreat. I just slept in the parking lot of the ski resort. Do I wish I paid a couple hundred bucks now and got a hotel room? Maybe, but it was a cool experience. Um, only downfall was the condensation buildup on the walls uh, was completely frozen in the morning. So that wasn't too nice. And on the one side of the tent, right at the seam where the hinge is here, I didn't have that flap or little pocket cover in completely and a nice pile of snow was built up right beside me because the wind was blowing so hard and the snow was coming up underneath. So that was kind of lame. But other than that, super warm up here. This thing does a good job of blocking the wind and all the other elements, except for blizzard-like snow at the corners. Yeah. Other nice thing, poles on the side are canvas covered so they don't build up condensation and they're not absolutely freezing to the touch in the morning, which is uh, A plus. In between those two skylights, there's two D rings so you can hang lights. So you can kind of see my one lantern up there right now. I just leave it up there when I close the tent. It's quite nice. And my only gripe with this tent is does have to do with these pockets here. Um, so I uh, came up here one morning when it was pouring rain and I put a huge coffee cup up here after I had made it just down below. And I guess pulling on these th threads or this tape here, the uh, rain started to pour on the inside and come down the threads here and make a nice little pool. So when I woke up from my nap and went to have some of my coffee, mosquito, I noticed there was a big pool of water there. It's a good thing the waterproof mattress is very waterproof because I went and got my cloth, soaked it up and put that back in like that and went back to bed and kept checking. No more water once it was nice and flat. I didn't put my coffee cup in there. So yeah, that's the only downside. So other than that, not a whole lot to tell you about the inside. It's a super high quality rooftop tent. Mattress is awesome, mattress cover is awesome. <laughs> it's super warm in the winter. This thing is designed for Canadian weather, so it's, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, super tough.
right. So let me uh, set up the annex portion. I'll pop out the windows and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you the rest there in a minute. Side note, the uh, tent comes with a ton of tags and uh, comes with a bunch of carabiner clips in green, which is pretty cool, and ropes to tie down the top half of the tent. Um, so I'm going to try and do all that, but I'll try and make this as timely as possible. So this is the annex. This is one of my favorite parts of this tree line setup. Um, it's a really nice fabric. It's not as durable as the uh, upper, but uh, it's nice and water resistant. It's got a nice rubbery feel to it, uh, especially the backing. It's nice if there's condensation buildup, it's easy to just wipe off. Uh, the side windows, the waterproof portion rolls up, but the uh, mesh portion does not. The front window or entrance has its deployable no CM mesh and then it also has the outer waterproof just like everywhere else. There's that side just so you can see. Anyways, so going inside, I've set up uh, some of my camping gear here. Got my table, my cooking bins, and food are all down below. I've got the cooler over there on that side, my chair my mat for when I uh, hop out late at night or whatever. Don't get my feet dirty. This is by far my favorite portion right here. This is the back it opens up to the canopy so I can say hello to my dogs. This is where they sleep. It's really uh, convenient having this opening here. When I close all the other windows and doors, it stays nice and waterproof. I can keep this open all night or nights like tonight when it's gonna get down to freezing. I'll close this and leave it open just a smidge so uh, the pups stay nice and warm. Have their bed set up here. I'll give them a duvet as well. But yeah, then this is the waterproof floor that zips into the base of the annex. I actually have yet to use it. Um, I've only been in the snow once, but it's really nice that it comes with that. Um, one day I'll, I'll get to the deep snow and that'll be a lifesaver for sure. Yeah, once this is in, uh, it's really nice to have. It's a cool place to hang out when it's pouring rain. Hang out with the puppies in the back. I sit down here. Get my nice view. It's uh, spectacular. Anyways. Don't really know if there's uh, much else to tell you. If I missed anything, I'll try and annotate it along the video somewhere. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, like it. Or, you know, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll try and answer any questions if there is any. But uh, yeah. How many times can I say, but uh, yeah. Anyways. Bye.